Hi, this is Joshua. I'm with the uh, I'm at the uh, Indigenous Skills Academy. Uh, we're right now putting together the A5 uh, uh, laser engraver together. Uh, for, I bought it from Banggood. I got a great deal. So a smart thing would be when you're ordering them is go online and find every possible coupon you can find. I found about five or six uh, coupon numbers and, and and inserted them, and I got fifty bucks. Uh, 50 more bucks off of uh, the uh, A5 uh, engraver, uh, 2.5 watt, pretty darn good deal. Um, there's been a bit of a problem uh, that I find with the uh, the timing belt lock mechanism in the back, and I'm sure that a lot of people are, are over-tightening them and uh, creating some problems. So what I did was, is I have a bit of a fix, and I'm sure a lot of people might appreciate this because... Uh, when I put this mechanism together on its own, I found that when I tightened the screw down, it would actually pop a, almost pop a hole into the timing belt, or, or um, I don't know, that's what I'm calling it. So uh, I've got a great fix for you. And what I've done was, is I took the top of a um, uh, an old bin, as you can see here, it's fairly thick plastic, and I cut uh, a piece that that fit exactly into the um, slider area here as you can see it comes in uh, pretty pretty tight okay and I created I, I made it a piece square so that when I stick it in it's fairly snug when it comes in so uh, the problem with the mechanism is that when you tighten it uh, I found when I put the first few together, they used to have one that had a block that tightened it, but right now the, all they uh, are, are giving um, on the A, A5, and I'm, I don't know, many, I'm sure a lot of people are having the same problem. When it tightens, it ends up um, sort of pulling uh, towards one side or the other. Okay, it doesn't always center nicely. So my fix is this. I, I take a piece of plastic, you can use aluminum or whatever suits you, and you slide it in, and you place the uh, timing belt underneath it, like this, uh, so you can set it up, of course, the timing uh, uh, rivets, or pardon me, um, is, is faced the, oh, what do you call this, the, huh. <laughs> the stuff that catches the drive I'm a loss for words is facing down and then what I've done was is I make sure that the screws are, are right on the end okay and I slip it into place put, pardon me before I slip it into place I put in the uh, the belt through here I slip it in and I tighten uh, flush with the back. I tighten the back piece. And I just snug it just enough for it to tighten. Not too much. And with this piece here, what I do is, as you can see, the little plastic piece is sitting right here. And I push this underneath this screw which is loosened and then what I do is when it's in place that little square piece oops I tighten the screw down now the danger of over tightening again of course is you can even pop a hole right through that plastic piece so I just snug it down so that it sits on top of the belt and the, the nice thing is is now you've got a nice even distribution of weight so that when uh, it's uh, attached to the motor. You've got a nice angle, and it sits nicely into your into your gutter, your tray here. So that's my fix, and it works great. And you don't have to worry about uh, you know it bending from one place to another while you're bu building your your A5 uh, laser engraver.